According to reports, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has invited eight former ministers who worked for the ex-president, Mohamed Buhari. As stated by the source, questions on potential corruption were sent to each of the eight previous ministers. While speaking with newsmen, according to insiders, the invitation letters asked the former top government officials to appear and discuss how they use monies assigned to their ministries when they were in power. According to reports, the letter was sent to the former minister before Adurahid Bawa was removed from his position as chairman of the committee and before the anti grabs organization started an inquiry. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. John, after hours after EFCC invited the ex minister over corruption, Buari leaves Daura. See where he's going to. According to reports, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has invited eight former ministers who worked for the ex-president, Mohamed Buhari. As stated by the source, questions on potential corruption were sent to each of the, the eight previous ministers. Why, asking, why speaking with newsmen, according to insiders, invitation letters asked the former top government officials to appear and discuss how they used money assigned to their ministries when they were in power. According to reports, the letter was sent to the former ministers before Adurahid Bawa was removed from his position as chairman of the committee and before the anti graft organization started an inquiry. The source claimed that in addition to Paul Line, uh, uh, telling, telling the former Minister of Women Affairs, who was invited last week due to an alleged two billion scam, roughly seven other people have been invited. Record that the Commission left last month apprehended Seu Mama, a former Minister of Power under the previous president, Muhammadu Buhari, in connection with an alleged 22 billion scam involving electricity installations. It was also discovered that Mohamed Magari Dangadi, the recently retired minister of police affairs, had been called to testify over the management of the police trust fund. The source who spoke on the condition of anonymity said, Dan Gayadi, why respond? We respond to claims that he had purchased used cars for the Nigerian police and passed them off as a brand new. The anti graft organization also extended invitations to Hadi Sakar, Sa, Sarika, the former minister of aviation, and Abubakar Malami, the former minister of justice and, and, and attorney general of the Federation. In the meantime, as the EFCC prepares to question its ministers, the former president, Mohamed Buhari, has departed his hometown of Daura in Castina State for Niger Republic. On Thursday, Buhari Salu posted information on the development with images to Facebook. The former president of Nigeria, Buhari, is reportedly planning to travel to the World Leaders Summit in the United Kingdom on Saturday with the President of the Niger Republic, Mahmoud Bazoum. Buari, he claimed, would speak to World Leaders on Wednesday about instructive measures to revive the economy. After the summit, the former President of Nigeria is anticipated to travel to the Niger Republic alongside the President of Niger. Hmm. After then, go say, Igbos are corrupt. So, does one stealing fund are from where? This one stealing from where are they from? 
and me fell in our son Abby. Now, Igbo person name he mentioned. The wicked run it when no man pursues. Wari has a lot of unanswered questions. That book he always promised to Nigerians that perpetrators will be brought to. The most he must be brought to the book this time around. Now that Tinubu is proving Buhari's government shows you how grossly corrupt the Mr. Integrity government was, Buhari hide himself under the regala of integrity to make his corrupt uh, country dry. Worst corrupt government ever. My problem is not to arrest him, but the money looted we go to the new government account, as Buari did for eight years. He is gradually going back to where he came from. Very soon, he will cross from Niger to Sudan. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Integrity, you can run, but you cannot hide, says by Peter Tash of Blessed Memory from Niger to Sudan, or whenever wherever he must be bring to, he must be bring to answer and defend himself malami is the worst among them there is no secret that will remain secret forever one day the truth about everybody will be known and it will be known public made public and time is going to reveal many things already we have started seeing some signs you cannot say you don't know. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.